In the last section, we created our first component, the app component. And I know I've said this four times, but I'm going to say it just one more time. A component is a JavaScript function that returns some amount of JSX. React Native is going to take our component and render it to the screen. When I say render it to the screen device, I mean it will run our component right here. It will take the JSX that gets returned, and it will decide, based on the JSX that's returned, what the content should appear on the screen. So if this was to run, and inside of React Native, I would expect us to see the text on the screen, some text. Just creating the component, however, doesn't actually do anything for us. We have to undergo step number three down here, which is to actually render it to our device. When we create a component with React Native, nothing magic happens. You know, there's nothing to say, oh, they made a component right here. I, I recognize that. I'm just going to try to arbitrarily render it onto the screen. One of the very important lessons of React is to learn that nothing really gets wired up for you. You have to very purposefully tell React Native all the different ways that these different parts of our application fit together. And so this component is a fantastic example of that. We have to specifically tell React Native that we want it to take this component right here and render it to the screen of our device. So that's going to be step number three. So for step number three, we're going to write a little bit of code here to just tell React Native, hey, please take this component and show it on the screen of our device. So let's write out the code, and then we'll discuss exactly what it's doing. I'll write React Native dot app registry dot register component and I'm going to pass in a string of albums and this is going to be the really interesting part as the second argument to this function I'm going to place a fadero function and I'm going to return app from it. Note that when I use a fadero function without placing any curly braces there is an implicit return of app right here. So if we ran this function, it would automatically return app, even though I don't have the actual return keyword in there. OK, so let's talk about exactly what's happening here. In any React Native application that we create, we have to at least register one component to the application. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're saying, hey, React Native, you're about to render an application called albums. So the name of the string right here must match up with our project name. When we created our project we're using the React Native command line tool, we called it albums. And so therefore, as the first argument to this function, we pass the string albums. Second, we pass a function that returns the first component to render for our application. We only have one component right now, so we're just going to return the app component. Again, for every React Native component, or excuse me, for every React Native application we create, we must register at least one component. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This is all we need to get at least some amount of content on the screen. But before we run this in the simulator, there's one last thing I want to do. I want to do just a little bit of a refactor here. You'll notice that I am importing React Native up here, and I'm using React Native .app registry, which is okay. And I've also got seemingly an error about the text tag that we're using right here. When we look at the uh, ESLint error, it says that text is not defined. So it looks like there's still a little bit of issue that we've got going on here. So let's resolve this error in the next section.